Back with more here at Northern Quest Resort and Casino. It's Big Sky Football Media Day. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Alex Eshelman, your conference host and reporter. Joining me now, a couple of Northern Colorado Bears. We've got Jacob Sermon, uh, senior quarterback, and David Hogue, senior linebacker. Guys, thank you so much for being here. How, yes, how's the experience been? It's been great. David was here last year, obviously. Well, even though it's your first media day, you are one of the senior leaders on the team. Um, and we were just talking about this. Your leadership skills go go back all the way to being the oldest of five siblings. Congratulations to your sister, by the way, on getting married. Uh, what did they teach you? How has your family impacted you to be the best leader that you can be on the field? I think I have to give them all the credit in the world for the man I am today. Um, some of the lessons I've learned growing up have obviously translated to football. But I think also a lot of the hardships and, and humbling experiences I've learned through football has impacted me um, as a friend, as a brother, as, a, as just a person, a man of Christ. Um, the lessons that I've been able to learn and being able to translate to those into different aspects of my life, you know, I can't appreciate those learning lessons enough. We're excited to see you as lead quarterback this season. David, we were just talking about this. Congratulations on being back to full health. Thank you, thank you. You had such an impact in that 2021 season. Unfortunately, weren't able to play last year, but we were talking about this. You you know, you took a lot from uh, battling with that injury, and you think it's going to make you better this season. How? Um, yes, because before I got injured, I was a, a lead-by-example kind of guy, especially on the field, but while I got injured and during my injury, I had to, you know, uplift and definitely encourage uh, encourage my teammates. So now that I'm healthy, I feel like I have the best of uh, both. I could do, I could lead by example and still encourage and uplift my teammates and be able to become a better player on and off the field, especially when learning the uh, learning the game as a coaching perspective. Led the league in tackles for a loss in 2021, top three in the FCS with 22, I believe. Yes, Who are some of the other key components to this year's defense that is going to make you really disruptive on that side of the ball? My teammates uh, being able to go 100% um, and being able to, you know, learn the plays, being able to um, improvise, especially communication on and off the field. I feel like that that's definitely helped me in the past and is going to help me and help us uh, during the season. Jacob, first year coach in Ed Lamb, he just made a comment that when you heard he got the coaching job, you gave him a call not to, you know, try to make sure that you were the starting guy this upcoming season, but just to make sure that you created a relationship right off the bat. He really admired that about you. Why did you decide to do that? And um, what do you like about his coaching style so far? I've had the privilege of having five head coaches and seven office coordinators throughout my time in football. And so obviously being able to see all the greats and you know some positives and also the negatives that come with that, I was just excited. I, I had heard a lot of good things about him. Um, I think Darren Dunn, our AD, did a great job of the selection process. And I want to win. And I wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page. And he, he absolutely is. And so being able to begin and build that relationship right away um, was important to me. And, and important to do everything I could that maybe he needs as from a, from a guy that's been here before um, to, to rally the team around him and make sure everyone else is bought in as well. Question for both of you being that you're the two senior, two of the senior leaders on this Bears team, what are the conversations that you guys are having as a veteran group in terms of what you want to see accomplished in this fall camp in this upcoming season? I think um, our strength coach, Tyler Hill, does a phenomenal job of leading us and rallying us around. And one of the themes and messages we've had throughout the whole offseason is a lot of times during changes, people will say, talk about turning a page. Um, and our message is, we're not turning a page, we're, we're setting aside the book and starting a whole new one. You know? And oftentimes when you turn a page, you can look back and you know, peek at the old chapters and, and you can fall into bad habits or, or fall into the comfort of, of past you know, insecurities. And I think this team, we're about building a culture that's not only for this season, but for many seasons to come and, and setting a standard that hasn't been set before at Northern Colorado. And so, you know, for leaders like Ho coming off an of injury, um, I mean, you can see it in his work ethic every day. 
he's a guy that, that wants to be out there and playing, but he can't. And, and finding for him to be able to find ways to be a vocal leader to, to inspire others, um, it speaks a lot of not just to him, but for the rest of the team. You know, that's kind of a consistent standard that's held by everybody. And when you get teams like that that are player led, that have leaders that are selfless, that will put themselves, you know, behind the team and put the team first. Um, you know, it starts from the top down. And so he's obviously an amazing player. Coach Lamb, he's in the weight room working out, you know, max front squat with us. Things like <laughs> that's that. Awesome. It's amazing. And so when you get that from a top down, you know, these young young guys coming in that have never experienced college football before, that's all I think it is. They see, you know, veteran players, head coaches, guys that have been around the lead or been around a lot of different programs leading in such a way that they don't know any better. And that's the, that's the benchmark, that's the standard for us going forward. I think that's going to produce a lot of success, you know, now and hopefully in the future. David, quickly, how about you? Um, I'll say competition. And I'll piggyback off of what uh, Serm said, is competition. It is definitely becoming one. It's not turning the page or it's not a uh, next chapter. It's not forgetting about the past. But it's also staying focused on the present and um, never worrying about the future. And I feel like after my injury, that kind of that kind of put that in my vision is never to worry about the future, just always focus on the present. Well, we are really excited to see what you guys do this upcoming season. Thank you so much. Thank really you. Really appreciate the time. We'll be Thank back you. with more on Big Sky Football Media Day.